welcome or welcome back to Angry Roads as we continue to investigate the SCP universe. That's right. Foundation. The SCP Foundation's universe. We are now up to SCP-002. Now, if you haven't seen our other videos, we are essentially going through the SCP Foundation universe. Whatever. We're going through SCPs. <laughs> yeah, we're going through SCPs. That's probably the better way to put yeah. it. We are going through SCPs. We are going in both chronological order and favorites order, and then we'll slot them all so that you can watch them in a playlist. And fav- by favorites order, it's not our favorites, but like highest no. rated stories. I have not read any of these, so I'm yeah. quite excited. Yeah. Um, and so this is back to a chronological one mm-hmm. this week as we technically hadn't started because <laughs> you can't do number one. Not yes. really. It's quite complicated. So we'll have to circle back to that another time. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're really just starting at number two. Yes. Um, and that is SCP-002. I don't know if it's got a colloquial name, but... If it does, let us know. Because yeah. we it's been really exciting seeing people from the SCP uh, fandom come out in the comments. That's yes. really cool. Thank you so much for, for checking it out. Mm. Um, also, I'm Dave. I'm Suzanne. <laughs> and we're Angry Rose. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I'm not sure if you can see it, but that's oh, my that's cat. That's Johnson. He's looking for salami. He might not be in the picture just yet, but there we go. That's Johnson. Oh, all right, Johnson. Oh, all right, Johnson. Okay. SCP-002. Yes. Did you want to start? I will start. So, object class is Euclid. Now, just to catch you up, based on the locked box test, a Euclid class anomaly is if you lock it in a box leave it alone and you're not entirely sure what will happen, then it's probably Euclid. So these are reserved for things that you have contained or you have the ability to contain, but you don't really know what's going to happen. So it needs to be monitored. I guess, yeah, if you don't really know if it's just not doing anything or if it's actually contained. Or if it's doing the worst things ever. (laughs) Now, if you have no idea what we're talking about, you can go back to our... First video? It's, or it's technically the third video. The one that says, can you, we like, fucked up. Can you put it somewhere? It'll be there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and where we go through each of the object classes as well as each lockbox. Yes, correct. And they're full descriptions and what that mm-hmm. means. All right. Um, okay. Let's do it. So, special containment procedure. 002 is to remain connected mm-hmm. to a suitable power supply at all times to keep it in what appears to be a recharging mode. Okay. In case of electrical outage, the emergency barrier between the object and the facility is to be closed and and the immediate area evacuated. Once the facility power is re-established, alternating bursts of X-ray and ultraviolet light must strobe the area until 002 is re-affixed to the power supply and returned to recharging mode. Containment area is to be kept at negative air pressure at all times. To keep things in. Yeah, I suppose so. Because the negative air pressure, right, when it's hard to open the door. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I suppose that's what I'm, Like, I'm so sure in the hospital, if someone has an infection, you flick the switch to negative. Yeah. So that it keeps, keeps things it in. in there. Whereas if it's, you can flick it to positive when... It's pulling things out? No, yeah, like it's just... <laughs> or it, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. I get you. I, I believe. Please yeah. don't come for me. Um, I just want to call... Th- th- this is just a giant ball, but we'll get to the description here in a second. It exactly looks like it's it reflective. Is. Again, uh, if this is your first one watching with us, it always starts with how you contain the anomalies, mm. and then we go into the description. It's supposed to be like a memo that if... A s- protocol. It's If something went wrong, and mm-hmm. you the first piece of information you need to know is, how do I stop it from getting worse? I guess these are emergency plans. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Continuing, so teams, including a minimum of two members, are required within 20 metres of 002 or its containment area. Personnel should maintain physical contact with one another at all times to confirm that there is another person present. Oh. 
as perception may be dulled, skewed, or influenced by the proximity to the object. So we must be not only able to see each other, we must be in and physical holding contact. holding each other. Holding hands, or probably. <laughs> holding hands, you like the thought that the, I, I they're like all standing the, there just holding hands like this? Like um, like at the end of that Us film, the Hands Across America. Yes, yeah, but it's, yeah, yeah. It's just It's just little, Hands Across SCP Foundation soldiers. 100%. Yeah, they're just little military people, just they're holding hands. I think that's nice. No personnel below level three are permitted within 002. The requirement may be waived via written authorization from two off-site level four admins. Why? But they're just keeping it under wraps, I guess. Fair. Command staff issued such a waiver must be escorted by at least five level three personnel for the duration of their contact and must temporarily surrender their rank and security clearance. Following contact, command staff will be escorted at least five kilometers from 002 to undergo a 72 hour quarantine and psychological evaluation. If deemed fit for return to duty by the psych staff, rank and security clearance may be restored when quarantine expires. So wow. I'm getting the thought that like just being in contact with this thing warps things so hard. It seems like it's a bit mind fucky. Yeah. And so they're like, you actually don't have your clearance or your rank. Not while you're still under the influence. And once once you're no longer high as a kite (laughs) or whatever happens, then you can have it back. You can have your level of clearance back. Maybe. Yes. We're only about halfway. Yeah. Um, Okay. Okay, So this is description. Here we go. This is now what it is. Description. 002 resembles a tumorous, fleshy growth with a volume of roughly 60 meters cubed. Mm -hmm. Uh, There are Americans watching, so 2,000 feet square cubed. Mm -hmm. An iron valve hatch on one side leads to its interior. So it is a big ball and there's a valve on one side which leads to its interior, which appears to be a standard <laughs> low rent apartment of modest size. <laughs> so the, the, the hatch leads to a, a, a low rent apartment. Yes. One wall of the room possesses a single window, though no such opening is visible from the exterior. Okay. It's, it's like a doctor who situation. Yes. The room contains furniture, which upon close examination, Appears to be sculpted bone, woven hair, and various other biological substances produced by the human body. Gross. All matter tested thus far show independent or fragmented DNA sequences for each object in the room. Refer to the Mulhausen report for details related to the object's discovery. So inside this ball, yes, this one, yes, I can see the ladder where they walk up to it. Yes, there is a hatch. Yes, and when you open the hatch, yes, it leads to a low rent apartment. Yes, made of people. Do you think it's low rent because the furniture <laughs> looks tacky? No, I think it's just like it can be compared to what a low rent apartment might be might look like. What would that look like? Carpeting, low rent, ri- low rent. I don't know. That's just. I mean, there's only one window. It's cheap. So, <laughs> so like a cheap apartment. Yeah, but all, but the, all furniture the furniture is made from people things. Appears to be sculpted bone, woven hair. Like I wish I could see it. Gross. Do you and various other biological cells? Like I like the thought that like you're sitting on the chair and you're like. Oh, it's uncomfortable. Oh, it's because it's got teeth. Oh, it's just made of hair and teeth. <laughs> um, we'll look up some pictures shortly. Okay. Uh, so, there is a reference here. To date, subject has been responsible for the disappearances of seven personnel. Oh, no. It also has, in its time at the facility, further furnished itself with two lamps, oh, a throw my rug, God. a television, a radio, a beanbag chair... Three books in an unknown language, four children's toys, and a small potted plant. 
Tests with a variety of lab animals, including higher primates, have failed to provoke a response in zero oh, zero two. That's interesting. So just humans. Yeah. Cadavers as well fail to produce any effect. Whatever process the subject uses to convert organic matter into furnishings is apparently only facilitated by the introduction of living humans. So sorry, seven people. They lost seven people. And that made. It out. And that made. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Of different things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Seems like a fair conversion. Gross. <laughs> um, okay. So we have that report. So the, the, the Mulhausen report is here. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's quickly take a look through that. Yes. Uh, the Mulhausen report. The following is a brief report detailing the discovery of 002. Okay, so this is them finding it. Yeah, God, sounds awful. It's a strange thing to find. (laughs) Subject was discovered in a small crater in northern Portugal where it struck the Earth from orbit. Why Why was this bitch floating through space being like, do you know what I'd love to do? But maybe once... Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Yes. Um, encased in a shell of thick rock, the fleshy exterior of the object was exposed by the impact. So it was inside the, inside the media. There was a media and then on the inside of the media was was a a fleshy ball. And inside of the ball was a low rent apartment. Correct. Okay. A native farmer happened upon the site and reported his findings to the village elder. Subject gained SCP attention when a level 4 agent posted in the area detected a small radioactive anomaly generated by the object. A collection squad of SCP security personnel led by General Mun- Mal- I was going to say Munchausen. <laughs> Mulhausen was immediately dispatched to the area where they quickly secured the object in a large container and performed initial testing with subjects recruited from a nearby village. Why are you using the village people? Because that's who you have. What? You have you brought a security you brought security personnel. They Chuck them in. They don't know how to deal with it yet. Remember the SCP Foundation is always about the greater good. They're cracking eggs. Yeah, they're not, to, to make they're, that omelette. Yeah, they're they're sacrificing village people. Hundred percent. Three men individually sent into the structure subsequently disappeared. <laughs> Upon discovering this deadly property of the subject, General Malhausen issued a level for a termination order of any witness at Jesus. Of any witnesses, roughly a third of the village, to ensure no outside knowledge of the object and initiated its transport to SCP facility. Expunged? Expunged. Expunged. I'm going to say expunged. That is correct. Expunged. But there's no S there. Expunged. Expunged. Yeah. Expunged? It's expunged. Expunged. Yeah. It feels like there should be an S there. Why? X. Expunged. No S. Anyway, anyway, expunged. it's expunged. I'll read the next part here. Fine. During preparation for transport, four SCP security personnel were inexplicably, inexplicably drawn inside the object where they too immediately disappeared. Got him. Following inspection, it appeared as if the object had grown several new furnishings and was beginning to look like the interior of an apartment room. General Mulhausen immediately ordered the requisition of several Class 3 hazmat suits for the remaining security members team, security team members, who proceeded to lift the container onto a waiting freight ship for transport to the SP- SCP containment facility. Then there's two sections that have been expunged, and then, following the termination of General Mulhausen, 002 was re-secured by SCP staff and brought into special containment in where it currently resides staff with clearance level below level sorry with clearance below level three have been denied access to 002 container without prior approval from at least two level four staff after the Mulhausen incident so, so I think I understand it compelled them in yes and, which, and know, it told him it says no I don't want to be there you should put me somewhere else and he said dope yeah and, and, and somewhere where there was going to be more people coming. Oh, my God. So, it could make more furniture. I think so just it just keeps growing. Yeah. It is pretending to make. Yeah. It, it has made a thing where it's like, you seem to like this. You love this. You like basic furnishings. I bet you it looks like the inside of an Ikea. 
<laughs> it's just SCP-3008. Um, if you haven't seen that video, check that one out. Mm. Um, yeah, that's really gross. Um, I brought up some pictures here, which... That's, yeah, just a fleshy with a hatch. I thought you were going to say with a hat. With a hat. <laughs> um, yeah, because you can't really see. Oh, I like the that. Oh, yeah, that's good with the inside. Oh, God, that's just fingernails. Uh, where? That there. This? Yeah. No, that's skin flaps. That's oh, a lamp. Oh, neither is good. No, that is not good. This, I, I like just simple. Gross. Oh. oh, that's a bad one. I'm going to open that one to save that for the video. That's a bad one. <laughs> that is gross. Yeah, it just looks like a room. Yeah. Gross. Mm. Yeah, I like the idea that it compels oh, people God, in. Oh, God, you made it even bigger and that's that's rough. <laughs> oh. It compels them in yes. to grow the room. Yes. And, and that's it. And that's why. So they have to hold each other. Why are they holding each other? I imagine so that if one of us feels compelled, the other one... Stops huh. them? Yeah. But doesn't that mean we're both just going in? I mean, no, because it doesn't seem like everyone... It doesn't seem like it works on everyone. Yeah. I imagine it's the same as, like, in True Blood when Eric's like, not everyone can... Not <laughs> everyone can sing. Not every vampire can fly. Not everyone can be compelled by this room. Yeah, I thought, yeah, fair enough. That's why, yeah, you if you've been compelled, I can be like, actually, maybe you don't want to go into the flesh room... That was me walking into the flesh room. That was you being converted in the flesh room. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, that that's cool. I quite like that one. And I like this picture as well. Yes, like, because on the when we started it, I was like, oh, it's just a ball and it's... It's just security footage. I thought it was reflective. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was just like a giant metal ball. No, it's but just no, it, flesh. It, oh. Yeah. God, the, the little flower. This one oh. with an eye on it. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It doesn't understand. I exactly. Imagine. But I like the thought again. Yeah. Classic Euclid situation in the sense that like it can be contained. Yes. And they have this way to sort of put it into recharge mode. I don't really understand yeah. what that what, means. What is it connected to? As long as it's a power is, supply. What are they anyway? I guess it really doesn't matter. They figured it out. Yeah. That's it. They got a, an adapter and they. And what do they it say? The they, they flash it. With alternating bursts of X-ray and ultraviolet light yeah. to stop it. Which really makes it feel like a living thing. Yeah. Yeah. But why would the X-ray help it? Don't know. Oh, well, I, it seems like it's disabling Do it. Do you know what? Space radiation. Space like radiation. Like low amounts of radiation. Yeah, yeah. I get you. And then ultraviolet light from maybe passing stars sort of thing. Yes, yes. I watched the 100. I know. I know. Does that make sense? Yeah. Maybe they're just trying to re- like calm it You're down. You're in space. Yeah, You're in space. Exactly. You're in yeah, space. Yeah, 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 that yeah. is... Yeah, I'm quite impressed with that. Mm. From you and from the author of this of this SCP. Yeah, the idea that they're kind of like... Sh- like um, <laughs> Go to sleep, go to sleep, go yeah, to yeah, sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. I like that. Yeah, something like that. Because it's obviously... If it got... If there was more people allowed in, it would just continue run buck wild. Yes. People would be walking in there and it would become bigger and bigger and bigger. That's it. Lampier and lampier and lampier. More eyes on couches. Oh, God, you'll see it. It's, it's, it's gross. unsettling. It's gross. Well, yes, thank you. Yes. Thank you for joining us for the first in the uh, chronological yes. order SCPs. I suppose coming up next is number three. Yes. Or... If we haven't done that one yet, whatever the next one is in this playlist order. <laughs> and then, yeah, we'll, we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, oh, yes. share. Um, comment. If, oh, and yes, we, we get really excited when we get a comment. We would love a good comment. But yeah, share it around if you see any communities where you think might enjoy the video or mm-hmm. want to talk about it. And put some suggestions down below. Yes, let us know your favorite SCP because... We're, like, I have never read any of them. I think you've read, like, a handful of them. I've read some, yeah. We're very new, so it'd be nice to hear, what, like, some fan favourites that aren't, even if they are, like, the typical favourites, but, like, if you have an outlier favourite, that's even better. Easy. Awesome. All right. Bye. Bye.